Encore une fois, tu te trouves là Face à face, près de moi Dis-moi, qu'est-ce que tu vois Hey guys, so I only have a little bit of time today and I decided to do a quick undead vampire bloody mess. And well, vampires are undead, so yeah. So here's my quickie vampire look. Super simple, uh, really fun. My daughter thinks it's great. She's four. I probably should worry about that. I want to do more Halloween looks. I wish I could do like the whole 31 days of Halloween thing, but I don't have that much time. Um, as you know, I'm running a haunt, or if you don't know, I'm running a haunt, Idlewild Haunted Ghost Town. Um, there'll be some vlogs on my channel of what we're up to. It's my first time co-running a haunt. So it's an adventure. <laughs> um, maybe you guys, if you're local or if you like to travel for haunts, come visit us. We're up in Idlewild, California, and we would love to see you. And if you come from YouTube or from Instagram or anywhere else, um, let me know. Come find me and tell me that, hey, I'm from YouTube or whatever. Starting out making the outline of my mouth. I'm making the mouth much larger than my actual mouth because the teeth are going to be showing on my lips. And then I'm going up here and making some cuts on my nose, some open wounds under my eyes. And this is just kind of a map of where I want things to be to start out. And it'll depend on your face and how you want your wounds to look. Now I'm taking one side of my mouth out. I'm doing it in red, but I wind up going over it in black. Adding a few more wounds to my face. And now I'm going to go in and start mapping out my teeth. With teeth, um, I have very small lips. So if you have larger lips, you have more room to draw teeth, to paint teeth. So it's very hard for me to get teeth on these lips. But I did my best. So just go in, figure out where you want your teeth. As you can see, I took my canines and dragged them down to the bottom lip because those are going to be my fangs. And then fill in from there. Here I'm taking the black and going over some of my wounds because I want them to look deeper. And I'm also going to have black around the teeth because I want it to be shadowed. I also go in between all my teeth with some black and um, I will be filling in more black around the teeth area and shading it with black eyeshadow later. Here I'm starting to outline where I want my decaying flesh to be and I'm doing it in black because I wanted this to be very dark so I, I went ahead and just went in with the black and I figured I'd add some other colors after. So you want to go and just decide where you want your flesh to be. You want it to be very jagged and like ripped and peeled and melted away. So you know, go for messy lines and then just remember where you want the flesh to show and where you want it to look like the flesh has been rotted away. And I filled it all in with black. Now I'm going in and adding some more black to some more of my wounds that I wanted darker. And you know, gotta have my coffee, my life juice. I know it's strange that I jump around on my face so much, but I really build these things up and I don't usually practice what I'm gonna do before I record it. So, you know, I just hope that it comes out well. <laughs> and if it doesn't, then nobody sees it. No, I actually usually post it anyway. So, you'll see me jump around a lot. I'm filling in some black on some wounds. I'm, I'm adding some more cuts to my lips. I'm starting to map out how I want my mouth to connect to the rotting side of my face and filling in the teeth. And you could go about this differently and just fill in one area at a time and finish it and move on to the next area. But, you know, I just don't do things the easy way usually. Here I'm taking red body paint and filling in the lips, getting it all nice and vampire-y. So this part was trickier because I wanted this side of the mouth to be pulled and rotted and not perfect, not pretty. So I'm going in and connecting the rotting flesh to my mouth the best way I could imagine. It would be rotting, kind of smeared back, but I still wanted my lipstick on, so it's still red. It's just pulled back toward the rotting flesh. Filling in my fangs, 
Honestly, the mouth is probably the last thing you should do because the mouth is hard to keep perfect um, in the middle of your paint. So if you're smart, which I guess I'm not because I never do it last, you should do it last. Add some black eyeliner on your waterline. And now I'm taking a silver, like a dark gray, silverish eyeshadow on my whole lid, on the mobile part of my lid, and then a darker black into the crease. And I'm doing it super messy. Under the eye, I drag it underneath my eyelid into my lash line. Took it a little closer with a smaller brush. And then I take another brush and I kind of blend it out, but not too much. I don't want it to be perfect and pretty. I want it to be messy, like she's had a rough night. Here I'm taking red body paint, but I don't think you're supposed to put it by your eyes, so I do not recommend doing that. Don't put things that you're not supposed to by your eyes. Um, and then I went in with some black, and I smudge it out with the eyeshadow brush that I was using that had black eyeshadow on it. And just get real wild with your eyeshadow. Make it messy and dark and haggard. Here I'm taking a green eyeshadow and putting it into places you might contour the face and anywhere else that I thought needed a green tint because we are dead and we are rotting and I wanted to add green highlights so I did. I put it into the corners of my eyes and then I took the black eyeshadow that I had and darkened up the corners of my eyes. Now I'm adding some black eyeshadow to my cheekbones to darken those in a little bit, contouring a little more. I do carry this all the way down the neck and to the chest, so you'll just have to decide on your chest. What I did is I followed the hollows of my neck and chest. Now I'm taking black body paint and I'm just dotting it around where the rotted flesh is to give it some texture. After the black, I went in with a light green body paint and speckled some more around there. Just, I want to give it a rotted look, um, so close up it looks like dots, but from further away, it looks like rotting flesh. And then I went in with a little bit of brown. So a couple different colors, and you know, you can really play with this and get make it look nasty. Now I'm finally filling in between the teeth to make it look like that is my mouth and more the teeth end. Now I'm going in with a little bit of white body paint and adding some highlights here and there, glistening areas to look like spit and juices and pus and anything else might be on a rotting face. Here's my daughter. This is my four-year-old. This is why I have very little amount of time to do any paints, but she's worth it. Adding some more highlights. Here, I'm going on all of my wounds and adding a highlight to at least one side, sometimes both sides, to make it look like it's laid open a little bit. I feel like this gives the wounds some depth. When we're just using paint, we have to do whatever we can to make them look three-dimensional, to make them look open and painful. So anywhere you feel needs a little touch of, of depth or highlight, just go in there and add it very lightly. Don't make your brush too um, heavily loaded, kind of a drier brush. That way you don't get too much because you can always add more, but it's harder to take it off. So I wasn't going to show you this part, but you know, visuals help. I'm a visual person. So as you can see, I went with the green everywhere, a little wilder than I did with the black. Then I go with the black and I fill in a little tighter into the hollows of my chest and neck, moving my body around to find my bones and find where the, the skin sinks in. Here I'm starting to paint on an addition to my top, so I don't quite do full body painting yet, but yeah, I'm getting there. I went in and painted black half circle kind of looking things, kind of like a fringe or a ruffle going on, and now I'm adding piercings. I'm piercing it into my skin. So these are supposed to look like little metal rings, kind of. And here I'm adding the little half circle that you put around the end that you want to look like it's going into your flesh. And then take some red eyeshadow and go around that. I'm going in with some fake blood also and adding it to the dark part right next to the ring. 
Then after that, go in with a little bit of black eyeshadow and add it around the ring of red eyeshadow that you put around the actual wound area to make it look like it's bruising outward. Then curl your eyelashes, because I'm, I'm a big fan of curling my eyelashes. And add your favorite mascara and get them babies nice and thick and clumpy. Make it look real rock starish. And that's it guys, that simple, super easy, not even a lot of paint, like it's a really easy look, really fun Halloween costume, messy, ugly, scary, I like scary costumes, they're fun, I mean I like the cute stuff too, but I like scary costumes, I like everything Halloween, really, everything. So, anyways, if you guys like this, please um, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. And uh, if you have ideas, things you'd like to see me do for the Halloween season, please let me know. I'm always looking for new, fun ideas. Hey guys, so I, uh, I uh, didn't... <laughs> Hi you guys, so I decided um, in the little bit of time that I had, I can't, why can't I? Mm.